I believe we are now live. So I hope everyone's enjoying their Sunday. I know we're running a little late again. There's some weird stuff happening with the lies, but we'll, we'll just carry on. Today, I thought I would share with you some of the fun birthday cards that I received because you know what, every time there's one, a card that I get in the mail, there is something that I want to case or I want to try. And this is why it's so fun to collect all the cards um, from swaps or from various people because you just never know where you'll be inspired. So today's Sunday fun day, I'm hoping to inspire all of you uh, for some birthday cards or celebration cards, whatever it is that you need a card for in the coming weeks, hopefully. Um, what I'm going to share with you today, you will recreate and use to give to someone to make them happy or to give them inspiration. So again, I just want to give a big shout out to everyone who celebrated with birthday bingo with me yesterday, as well as sent some fabulous birthday cards. If yours isn't here, I apologize. Maybe just shoot me a message because it could still be in the mailbox or hiding somewhere. Um, behind me, you guys will all see the birthday um, celebration decorations that my dear daughter decorated. So we've left them up for one more day. And happy birthday to anyone out there whose birthday is today or has been in the last few weeks or coming up. And in fact, why not we just share a happy unbirthday to everyone whose birthday is other times during the year. Um, because birthdays are special and we want to celebrate everyone. So I just, again, quick glance at the cards, but I want to highlight for you a few of them that I'm going to showcase later today for Sunday Fun Day, recreating them using products that I absolutely love and hoping to share and inspire, like I said, as well as I will post all of the um, measurements in the posts for the cards that are underneath, should you want to recreate them. Now, please don't be offended if I don't recreate yours. There's so many, and I'm sure I'll make them in the coming Sunday Fun Days. Um, but there are just so many fun little cards, little layouts, fun folds. And actually, if you're part of this month's card club, um, the card club group where we can utilize retire products from Stampin' Up, fun folds is actually the birthday card layout for this month. If you're not part of that group, track it down. You're going to want to be part of that where we make card swaps every month. And like I said, it it just has to be Stampin' Up! product. It could be current, it could be retired, but it's a good way to use up your stuff and get card ideas. This is a fun shaker card. This is the card I'm gonna to showcase today, show you guys how to make, because it is super easy, super fun. I call it the lazy man's <laughs> shaker card. It's what I like, less steps. But again, just some fun ways, stripes, some beautiful splatter, lovely. Using punch art, is that not gorgeous? And the dyes, look at those poppy dies so gorgeous love the flamingo card so fun oh and check out that beautiful background is that not gorgeous and look at the gold just pop i think they are all so fun so wait and see which ones i recreate um because there's a few that is like oh i cannot wait to share those but today's sunday fun day is about the shaker card so i did want to show you guys quickly how to make this and I am just making it from scratch. I don't have a sample pre-done. So do bear with me. The key component of this card is actually the clear envelopes that Stampin' Up! sells. So these come in a pack of 50. So it's a good deal for $8.25. Not only are they good for cookies, because a lot of you have seen cookies in them. They're great for cards. You can mail cards so that people can actually see what you're sending but they're also great as a shaker card. So I'm just pulling out the paper trimmer. We're gonna start by making our card base. Now for this project, I'm gonna use a brand new in color. So this is called Freesia. Um, whoops, I even got the name wrong already. Fresh Freesia. So stay tuned, this is coming in the brand new catalog. I'm using this as opposed to Purple Posy because Purple Posy cardstock is sold out. You might have that in your stash. And if so, great, pull that out. You can use that for this project. We're gonna cut this down to a normal cardstock size, but before I do, I'm actually just gonna score the card in the middle at four and a quarter. I do the whole sheet because I like to make two cards at once, one to keep, one to give away. Hopefully, eventually I'll give away the second one also and not hoard it. Now I'm cutting at five and a half inches. So I've just turned it 
Now I'm cutting in half. So now I've got two cards ready to go. They're scored and cut. Okay, we still need this here. So that's my card base, but then I want a background border and that is using basic black. So I'm actually cutting this down to four inches. This is gonna be four inches by five and a quarter inches. And like I said, don't worry about the measurements. I will post them. So that is four inches by five and a quarter. And then I also want the white background. And so this, I'm just doing one eighth less than that. So this is gonna be three and seven eighths that I'm cutting by four, oh, pardon me, five and one eighth. Again, I'm just going up to that one big notch. And there are my card pieces all ready to go. So that is it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set these aside and I'm going to do my stamping first. And in fact, I should have had some grid paper under here for me to stamp on, um, but that's okay. We'll just wipe it up after. The colors I'm using are my Tuxedo Black Memento ink, my Fresh Freesia in lieu of my Purple Posy, so whichever one you have on hand. And of course my favorite color, Coastal Cabana. And for this, so this is the fun card that I received. And again, that's an old, old set. It was a fun set. Some of you may even still have that, but I'm gonna substitute my pretty perennials for that. I think this is a very similar stamp and it will be fun, fun, fun. What I'm gonna do is I am going to stamp happy right in the center, right off the bat. And I realize I need my blocks. Okay, so let me just move that over there. I'm gonna put my happy on my block. Put that a little crooked because it doesn't fit perfectly straight on that. And I'm gonna use Coastal Cabana. And we're just gonna tap, 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 or dab, dab, dab. And then I'm just gonna stamp right in the center. I probably should have a foam mat underneath me. Actually, I am gonna grab that because Knowing my luck, it'll all be wobbly. And I want to use this card for someone's birthday coming up. Okay, so we're just gonna stamp that in the center, push equal pressure kind of on the whole thing, but not too much, and then lift. So look at that, happy, happy is there. I'm gonna leave that open because I'm probably gonna use that. But I'm gonna open up my Fresh Freesia ink pad. And now I wanna start stamping randomly some fun flowers. So in this kit, we've got some solid flowers and we've got some line flowers and that's so that we can kind of double stamp, but I'm gonna use them in a different way. So my solid flower, I'm gonna use my freesia. We're just gonna randomly stamp kind of all around. Now, I'm not making a perfect part of it. I'm kind of going off the edge onto my little mat. See what I'm doing there? And then I'm gonna fill it in with some of these other flowers, which are shaped just a little differently. And like I said, they're meant to kind of layer over top, but you don't have to use them that way. So I'm just randomly stamping. Where else do I want one? We'll go up here, we'll go down here. Whoops. I put that in the wrong ink pad. Hopefully I didn't wreck the purple pad. Okay. So I think that that's full of lots of color. I might think I need more once I get it put together, but that's okay. You stamp what makes you happy. I think that is good for now. So now that is actually sized so that I can stick it in one of these fun envelopes. So here's one of those clear envelopes. Best part is it's a peel and stick seal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stick that in. That ink dries pretty fast, but I just wanna make sure it's super dry. So I'm waving it around, not that that's gonna help much. But now that I have that in, I wanna fill it with some fun confetti. And so here's some sequence. It's called the woven thread sequence. This is in the main catalog, which we'll be retiring here soon. But aren't those beautiful? Those are some of the ink colors that are going out the door, but they do coordinate with this. So I'm just gonna dump those in. I've almost used them all. So this is probably one of the last cards I'm gonna be able to make with it. 
And you can take a look to see if that's too much sequence for you or not. You know what, I think that's perfect. So we'll just leave it like that. But then I wanna add some fun confetti. And so we've got this flower border punch that I think is overlooked in the catalog, super fun. And I am just gonna use that to punch some fun flowers. So I'm just gonna punch them out of there. And I've got some coastal cabana paper as well. We're gonna punch some of that. Um, and you know what, I'm gonna punch another one. So I've got three punches of that fun confetti and I'm just gonna open that up and I'm putting it right inside. So this is gonna mix with the other confetti. Plus these are all fun, different size flower shapes. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe once I get it on the white cardstock, you'll be able to see it a little better. But now it's kind of mixed up with all the confetti for more fun, 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 fun shape. It's got lots of texture in there. And in fact, if any of you guys have the old little embellishments that were birthday candles with the little stickies on the back, what I used to do was peel all those stickies off and stick them in. And if I had that in there for this birthday card, I would do that, but I've ran out and of course they're retired. So now again, I'm just making sure that this is all lined up. Now, when I was shaking it, I let that piece of paper slip a little bit. So look at that, all the confetti's getting underneath. You want all the confetti to stay on top as much as possible. If it gets behind, that's okay, because it will anyways. Um, but you do wanna make sure it's as much on in the front as possible. And I'm just making sure that it's lined up to the corner because now what I'm about to do is I'm flipping it over and I am gonna seal it, but I wanna fold this over really tight. And then I'm gonna fold this over this way. And that's so that that whole thing closes and it's really tight. Now it might not be, you're gonna get a bunch of lip and that's okay. So just grab your scotch tape. And I am just gonna tape this down so that it stays closed. I just wanna make sure it's nice and flat because it's already a little bit bulky. And so I wanna make sure that it stays nice and flat on the front of my card. Now that I have that all taped up, look at that, is that not fun? So I'm going to wrap some fun twine. And this is from that Playful Pets collection which is the black and white striped ribbon. Good news is this is carrying over, which is awesome because I love, love this twine. This has to be my favorite, favorite one. And it's probably because it's black and white stripes. What I'm gonna do is just tie a bow because I want this to hang out the side. And again, remember I'm casing. I should have mentioned, this is a card created by Charlene. Charlene, thank you again for letting me case this. Um, if you're part of the Twist and Dabs team, a few years ago, she actually came and demoed this for us. Um, but you know what? I can honestly say I don't think I've recreated it since then. So this is my first one. And I love, love that we get to case it. And so now I'm just getting to move that down to where I want it to be. And so now I can go ahead and mount this to my cardstock. And that black layer accent is a mat. Now look at this, I have a little bit of cello bag that's sticking out and that's okay because I'm just gonna trim that off because I don't want that to show. So if you didn't get it taped down good, such just like me, you can just trim that off the excess so that it's kind of out of the way. And now we're gonna use our seal plus. Now, because this is plastic, we really want this to stick. Now it may not, oh yeah, look at that. It is sticking directly to the envelope. You just have to go slow so that it stays down. And that is why I love this new seal is it sticks to surfaces, like especially photos, which are a little glossy if you're a scrapbooker. This seal product is amazing. Okay, so look at that. My tape is sticking out a little bit over the edge. So I just need to trim that off because it's bugging me. And now we're just gonna center this on our basic black mat that we cut out. And just like that. So I need to make sure that my string is out. And now it's ready to put onto our cardstock. I'm just gonna use my bone folder to make sure I have a nice crisp fold there. And now same thing, I'm just gonna use my seal plus. And I'm using this because I've got a little bit of weight on the front of the card. Otherwise I would use my normal seal, but I'm gonna continue to use the plus just because it's stronger. It's almost like a double-sided sticky strip that we used to use. 
It's super strong and maybe even stronger. And now I'm just gonna trim the excess, which I'll save and use for another project since there's quite a bit of it there. And now I just need to add something else. And so that something else for me is gonna be birthday because I wanna say happy birthday. Um, you could say happy mail. You could say all kinds of things because there's cute letters inside that stamp set. We're gonna go with this and we're using the black ink just because that is what makes it pop. And so we're gonna use a little bit of birthday and I'm just gonna stamp it there. Again, equal pressure, pop. And I'll just let that absorb. It only takes a few seconds to absorb in the paper, but then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take my paper snips and I'm just gonna cut that out just like that, like that. And then, um, let's see, which way? See, she's got the little banner going that way. I've got more on this end, but let's see what we can do here. I should have stamped it a little closer to the other side. But we're just gonna punch out a little bit of a tail, like so. Use some dimensionals on the back. And this is gonna pop up. Actually, we just need one. That'll do the trick. And we're just gonna put it right here. So look at that, a super fun, quick and easy shaker card. Happy birthday to someone great and check out that case. Look at, I could have had some more flowers in there, but that's okay. When you go to recreate it, you can do what you'd like, pick your stamp set. When you do create this card, please post a picture. I'd love to see your creations and what you use with it and what you put in your shaker. Super fun, super easy. I hope you give it a try. Thank you for joining me for Sunday Fun Day. Like I mentioned, I'm gonna recreate a few more of these and post them on the Just For The Love Of Stamping page. So by all means, go check it out, leave a comment. And if you do recreate using your Stampin' Up! products, please share them underneath. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, we will see you next week. Have a great day. Bye for now.